Hey there Zedders, what up? Welcome back to Julio Z and uh, before we begin, quick shout out to Matteo, he just uh, got accepted into the Star Agent Club, so, I mean, Star Club, wait, what? Star Creator Club, yay, I know what I am, I don't know what I am, I don't care. Anyway, I saw that uh, we got something really awesome today, but I haven't really, really checked, so... Let's see it together, okay? Because uh, it seems like it has impressed the godly Cynic Alex, so hopefully it's that good. Anyway, so greetings agents, this is the Marvel Future Fight development team, yay! So this is like the developer note, as always. Uh, so first, we sincerely thank all our agents who shared their opinions on Marvel Future Fight last month, which I did not, I completely forgot, by the way. So, <laughs> uh, as we have already shared uh, the top 10 results of the feedback event through the last note, we, the development team, would also like to answer the questions our agents asked the most. So, timeline battle. Here are some common feedback and the requests for timeline battle. So, game mode. Improve repetitive gameplay. Add a real-time CVP system. Game roster rules, improve the character ban system, remove skill cooldown times at the start of the battle, avoid level, lower level agents, uh, match with higher level agents, rewards, improve rewards. So, majority of the players playing timeline battle are agents who play occasionally to receive basic rewards and agents who play diligently to reach top ranks. We have concluded that changing the game rules to satisfy a small portion of our players <laughs> of our players will create unnecessary pressure on the other types of players. <laughs> like it. I like it. It's like just like the the I mean, uh, the, yeah, you know what you know, you know what I mean, you know, the minority groups just and, and I don't mean those minority groups, but I I just mean like the minority screaming at the top of their lungs for the, you know, in the name of all of us, so, nah, <laughs> I, I love that, I love that response, I really do. We definitely agree that timeline battle needs to be improved, so we are planning to add a new league for those who aim for the top ranks to address the issue. The new league system will have different rules and methods of play, mm. and only highest ranking agents in previous timeline battle records will be, will be participating in this, so with this new league update we will investigate the previous timeline battle matching system to solve the mismatch in levels and also address the reward issue. Please look forward to it. They don't really say what kind of reward issue is going to be or like what they're going to improve on the rewards, but definitely an improvement. I mean, anything new is new. Hopefully it's not something that will take us three hours to actually complete because I don't have enough time. Stop asking for new shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, me, me being uh, me being me aside. The second keyword, by the way, is going to be stick. So make sure to actually space out the, the words, okay? Don't uh, keep them together. So, wall boss. Here are some common feedback and uh, requests for wall boss. The game mode, add new bosses, add a new mode that only allows certain characters, increase daily entrance counts, a fucking add <laughs> a super giant in there and give us a uniform. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hmm? I'm gonna be passive. I'm not gonna be really aggressive in here. So, um, increase daily entrance counts. That would be really nice, man. That would be really nice. I don't know if they're gonna actually allow that, but okay. Uh, mm -mm -mm. About about adding new bosses. Come on, man. We have so many, and it's gonna create more annoying uh, difficulty for no reason. But yeah, people need it in their lives, so I guess why not. Because uh, I can play on an easier floor, like I always do, so I don't mind. Add as many bosses as you want. And add a new mode that allows a certain characters. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, game rules or roster. So, improve striker settings. I mean, they're pretty good-ish. They were better. Remove resistance system. Woo, nobody likes it. <laughs> add a mid-animation skip function. That is actually good. Yes, I would love that. And improve rewards. First, we apologize for frequently changing world boss. I I get it. It's not their fault, actually. By the way, people just don't like it either way. They make it easy. People don't like it. They make it fucking difficult. People don't like it. And I, I mean, you don't have to play that high. I play at 
like the 60 range. I mean, I, I could even just play at 50. I don't mind. What's the fucking issue? You get the same chests. It doesn't matter. It's RNG. Why don't you understand that it's RNG? I mean, somebody today asked me, Oh, what boss did you play that you got the cable card three times? Dude, it's RNG. What don't you freaking get? And they, these are the same people who cry about, you know, I want to go higher because for, for some reason going higher is going to give them better rewards. Nope, it's not. Anyway, we are currently developing new bosses and, you, and a new difficulty mode. The new difficulty will have different characters, striker rules, than the beginner normal ulti or ultimate difficulties. The new difficulty is planned to become a major mode for tier 3 and, poten and potential awakened characters. That could be good. People you know, cry about not having any anywhere to use the characters on, so yeah, try out your, your best characters in, the, in there, that would be nice. We expect the difficulty created by the resistance system in the ultimate difficulty can be lessened by the addition for of a new difficulty. We continue to plan on improving content functions such as skipping boss berserk animations. Hell yeah. Lastly, a new reward system is in development for higher difficulties. We'll do our best to reflect our agent's opinions for this mode. So. For the new reward system, uh, what I'm hoping for is uh, maybe CCF, more CCF, you know, because we need that. Uh, no uh, crystals, who cares about, you know, the, the awakening crystals, I don't awaken characters, I'm not going to awaken them yet. Um, not until you get like a character with awakening and tier 3, that is going to be scary. But yeah, uh, to be honest, skipping the boss animation, that's perfect. Being able to uh, challenge yourself on really hard mode, oh, modes with a tier 3 uh, only system or a potential awakening uh, only system, that would be nice. Hopefully not, not something that would force you to only use potential awakened characters, but it would be like an option to either choose tier 3 or potential awakened characters, that would be better. And hopefully the rewards are going to be just increased and not like, not like reworked completely. So that, for example, if you just choose to play on the ultimate mode, you don't really have to go on the, on the harder mode because now the ultimate mode will give you less rewards because now you have this better mode, right? I don't know if I'm making any sense, but yeah, I hope you'll get it. They didn't really <laughs> say anything about like adding more entrance counts, but oh well, I knew that wouldn't happen. Oh well, what can you do? For Danger Room, here are some common feedback and requests for Danger Room. Uh, game mode, add new bosses, add a new mode that only allows certain characters. No, no and no. So add new bosses, I don't mind. Add a new mode, no. Uh, I mean, yeah, the extreme mode can be like that, but I guess. But still, like, only certain characters. The ones that we already have are pretty fucking annoying. So if you can make them better, yeah. If you can make them easier to freaking win with, yeah. I mean, like, play with the... Play with Ant-Man, ha <laughs> ha so fun, nope. So game roster and rules, uh, fix matching errors and server issues. It's not a server issue, it's never a server issue. It's people disconnecting because they don't like what you chose. And matching, fixing the matching errors will make that worse because it will match shitty per people with shitty people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, it is true. It is true. Shitty people with shitty people or like really high uh, level players with really high level players and they all want to get the good characters. So they are all going to fight and they're going to like, uh, you know, leave the game, which is going to make you need to uh, start it again because the server issue It's not a server issue. Trust me. <laughs> Remove danger room from daily missions. Please do. Yes, I, I, I do like that a lot as a suggestion <laughs> ability to use any character mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. that's retarded <laughs> I'm sorry to say but that's retarded if you mean ability to use any of the tier 3 characters that we have available yes that's really smart if you mean any character that's retarded because you will need tier 3 characters for that Reduce playtime, please do, please do, I mean, I mean, you can do that without reducing the playtime, uh, play just give us good characters, right, not really shitty characters against a, sh uh, a really difficult boss, that would be the fix, but anyway, uh, improve the matching system for rank and normal rewards, uh, well, isn't this the same, and improve rewards, so, uh, when extreme mode was first introduced, it is intended to allow players to use any character, it also has a separate ranking system and rewards, 
and requires much more complex team uh, strategy. So that sucks. Like <laughs> it's funny. You, people have only a few options, and they still fuck it up. Now you want to give them a lot of options, and they'll fuck it up more by using shitty teams. Great, awesome, perfect. And by the way, when it was first introduced, what do you mean? We 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 just saw the button there. We don't see how it is intended to fucking work. Let us know. Thank you very much for letting us know now. Uh, we are planning for normal mode to become simpler after the extreme mode update and much more uh, requested new bosses are planned to be added gradually. Um, mm, 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 what else? After extreme mode has been implemented. Yeah, when is that gonna happen? Never. I get it. Yeah, thank you very much. In the meantime, I'm gonna do some world event. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a world event clear because I forgot to do it because I was at work. Yay. Uh, so since reducing the playtime may resist in frequent one-sided gameplay, we are uh, researching various improvement measures. Uh, we will also focus on finding ways to reduce gameplay time when simplifying normal mode. So yeah, that that does make sense. So if they reduce the the difficulty, uh, a lot of just uh, you know a, a lot of teams are just gonna have like this um, monopoly of just winning. So the other teams are just gonna get stuck while uh, losing, 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 and you know it's gonna make it uh, annoying for people. It's uh, like in this in the uh, attempt of actually making it faster for you to clear is gonna make it just slower because you're gonna keep you know losing uh, I mean as long as they keep the just participate uh, restriction or requirement I mean at the same time it doesn't really matter because you're still participating even if you lose but you know uh, they, they want to make it fair so I do understand this point um, so in res uh, regards to the matching system and uh, server issues with trouble, uh, which trouble our agents, we will continue to monitor clos uh, closely and improve upon it. Uh, lastly, we will also investigate rewards that is fair for each mode. Yep, that is perfect. I mean, trust me, these uh, <laughs> what I'm seeing here is pretty good. I mean, till now it's only been really good. I, I mean things apart from the fact that they didn't really touch upon the you know the increase world boss ultimate interest uh, limit <laughs> which yeah I, I do understand because they're never gonna change that they're gonna keep that or else they're just gonna increase the amount of CCF that the tier 3 would require just like they did for example uh, they added more ways to get crystals but they also increased the crystal requirement for a uniform right so get it that's what may happen for the CCF as well if uh, if they if they end up doing that it's just gonna doom everybody with the amount of CCF that uh, we will need so I don't like that anyway for Alliance Conquest now this is where I just don't care <laughs> I mean just by from the name it's not like I've read it maybe it's just really good so we'll see we'll see because uh, I, I just don't play it that's that's the reason why but uh, we'll see it so here are some common feedback and requests for Alliance Conquest, Game Mode New League. Uh, so a new league for Alliance Conquest, I don't get what that could be, but sure. I mean, if people have requested it, that should be nice. <laughs> game Roster and Rules, Improve the Character Filter, Reduce Playtime, uh, yeah, <laughs> takes two hours to play that shit. Add a Defense Info System, uh, like Defense Count, etc. Add a Preset System, yeah, that would be nice. No, but uh, what actually is requested is the ability to actually manually play those game modes, which you're never gonna give us, but oh well. Um, so you're not even mentioning that, I, I know for a fact that they that people do want that but yeah whatever um, and improve rewards so I mean they did improve them a bit so what more do you want but uh, still if there's room for improvement they can add room like for improvement anyway we are currently working on adding a high rank league in Alliance Conquest exclusively for those alliances that have shown a certain elevated level of performance so yeah enjoy dumbasses you're not gonna be really included in the new <laughs> league because it's only gonna be for the really rich guys yay anyway uh, the current alliance conquest will be simplified in order to promote more alliances to participate and the new high rank league will encourage alliances to play more strategically in the high league uh, or high rank league other quality of life improvements such as improving character selection and added defensive foe are planned to be added as 
part of our players' request. We are looking into improving rewards for these leagues. Please look forward to our future updates. So, uh, as this says, it's not a single update. It's going to be over, you know, over the... Oh. <laughs> I hit the mic, okay? That must have mm, hurt your ears. Does it hurt? Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know. I know, I'm sorry! <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, it's not gonna be, like, anything that will be done in one update. It's gonna be, like, several updates that will slowly add all of these things that are that we are seeing here. But, yeah, it's all good changes till now. Shadowland, here are some common feedback and requests for Shadowland. Add an exclusive store. What would that fucking be? I don't fucking know. Uh... So I think they may be asking like maybe like you can just save the tokens and uh, instead of getting some random shit to actually be able and be able to buy the shit. So like 50 million uh, tokens to get a CDP of Rage. I mean it's better than random shit so I guess. Game roster slash rules, add new floors. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> It's already hard enough. Let's let's not make it worse, okay? Hopefully, improve rewards for the rewards. Yeah, please do. Since adding new floors may result in increasing playtime or making players feel exhausted, we are very cautious on pro proceeding in this direction. Yes, if you like, if you talk about Shadowland, out of all like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I'm gonna be really annoying with this, uh, with what I'm gonna say right now. If you're gonna ask on what to change on Shadowland, you should ask me. Because <laughs> I played every fucking week for like six hours straight, uh, like just the whole clear from floor one to floor ninety something, where I end up being, or like eighty something. So yay, it's it's nice. Please don't don't request for anything, okay? Like it's it's funny. People ask for new floors when they haven't unlocked thirty yet, let alone thirty five. So yay, <sighs> man. Please stop. <laughs> so, however, we agree that further improvements are necessary, and the reward system is also under inspection for improvement, hopefully. We have also discussed adding a feature to exchange tokens for items, as many agents have requested, but we have decided that acquiring rewards immediately after completing stages will be more helpful to our agents than requiring agents to exchange tokens for items. Please let, uh, let us know if agents prefer the store method. Um, hmm. That is a good thought, by the way. Like, um, hmm, I don't know. First of all, there are three ways they can do that. Uh, do this. First of all, there is the, uh, you know, adding the fixed rewards that uh, we have on, bef like, from floor one to thirty-five, and uh, we just get those kind of rewards uh, every week. But that's that uh, that mo or that way's uh, downside is that people who cannot reach high enough are gonna complain like let's say they they do this with fixed rewards till like floor I don't know infinite floors uh, so floor 200 something like that just to future proof it or like floor 300 and uh, people that cannot get to like floor 80 they're gonna be like oh but I can only get to floor 60 so I can't get those uh, rewards on top so that's a really bad way to, of doing it. The second way is the one that we have now with the with the random rewards, which with tokens that open a chest every you know every ten uh, tokens, which is pretty okay-ish. But still, people could say that oh, people who clear more are gonna have an advantage. Which yes, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and also, it's the fact that uh, there's some rewards that I don't like in there. So like any defensive shit, I I hate. <laughs> Uh, but it's still too random. Uh, and the third one, which would be the one that uh, they're thinking about, so having a shop. Now, I would like that if it is fair and it has the same rewards that the random chests will give, but in a more, you know, uh, you choose kind of way. So instead of getting the random chest that uh, will once in a blue, move, um, blue moon give you like a rage CDP, you can give us those tokens. We we can uh, gather them, and we ha when we have like a thousand of them, well, a thousand is pretty low number. Maybe they're gonna think about it. So when we have the uh, required amount of tokens, we can maybe buy a CDP of Rage or a CDP of uh, Regen or like you know an ISO eight uh, uh, card. Everything. So, so yeah, just like that. That would be something that everybody would love actually. Not 
<laughs> it's not gonna be how they say where like uh, it's not gonna be helpful when they don't acquire them immediately uh, I think it's gonna be good as long as that only works for after 35 so after the fixed rewards I don't want them to remove the fixed rewards because that's gonna be bad if they remove the the fixed rewards and give you like a shop for the tokens and they add the tokens from floor one to uh, you know to infinite uh, floors they're gonna be like oh yeah now you can buy the bios that you would get normally and now you can buy the CDP of rage so people would be like oh shit what do I get now do I get the bios or the CDP of rage so keep the fixed rewards till 35 and then from then on please add the store that would be better and the store should have a CDP of rage okay please thank you uh, character reworks and new characters Odin who was the number one character selected in the 50th or not 50th, but 5th anniversary vote and reached top 2 in the last feedback Q&A event is in final stages of rework and will be revealed to our agents soon. Yay, so it's not gonna be... I mean, they've done the, the uniform part, so I, I don't think they're gonna give it to us uh, on this month. So, I mean, I don't know, but I don't think so. Still too early. Looking forward, Dormammu, Ghost Rider, and other characters who received many votes will also get part. Uh, will also be part of our rework plan. Thank you very much. That is really nice. Thank you. Thank you. We are also happy to add uh, characters that our agents requested, and the top-ranked characters in the new character request vote are currently being examined in the order in which they were voted. Hmm. So. Uh, Sentry was on top place. Ugh, nice, nice, nice. There are other topics and opinions that are frequently mentioned in our communities that uh, we are discussing as a team. We will cover this in a future developer note as this will be an ongoing process for us to communicate more with the community. We are grateful for our characters uh, or characters, uh, for our agents' opinions and we look forward to the next developer note update. Until then, please continue to share this or share with us your feedback as we continue to prepare future updates reflecting your wonderful feedback and ideas. Thank you, Marvel Future Fight development team. That's pretty freaking nice. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, people just don't want good shit, man. The, f the first freaking thing that I see here is higher amount of crystals. Yeah, okay, okay. That's not gonna happen! When are you gonna understand that? It's never gonna happen. Why would they increase the, the uniform uh, cost if they wanted you to pay more? Like, so they increase the uniform cost so that you, they can increase the amount of crystals that you get? Doesn't make sense, right? That's how, uh, that's how it works. I don't know. Anyway, people just don't like it. <laughs> people, I mean, it, it was just one comment, so I shouldn't really generalize, but I, I, I was just checking because I was really curious. I was going to find somebody who actually was going to ask for more crystals, because, I mean, or that who uh, who wouldn't really uh, agree with some of these changes. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Still, you let me know. So, yeah, comment down below what you think about this uh, these changes. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, let me know uh, if you can't wait for them. If you uh, think that they'll ever uh, change the crystal amount that we get daily, because that's going to be funny. I want to see how what you think about that. And please use the two keywords that I gave you. And also, lastly, make sure to subscribe, or else you won't be able to use uh, or to join the giveaway. But, yeah, lots of... Uh, I wish you a lot of luck in this game uh, in this giveaway but yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow when uh, I will announce the winner bye bye